I'm extremely proud of this project because it is so revolutionary. A vice president of engineering brought it to my attention that we were going to design a self-aligning telescope. I really didn't know how that was going to happen. But through the design process, we were able to come up with a great solution. We call it the Sky Prodigy. Back when I first got into telescopes, uh, that was around the early 90s, computerized telescopes weren't very widespread. So the problem most astronomers were faced with is trying to find objects in the night sky to view. Basically, you would take your charts out, figure out in the sky where an object was in relation to other stars. Many people didn't have that kind of dedication, didn't use telescopes that much. My first telescope was a go-to telescope, and there was a reason. You know, When I started, I was completely new to the hobby. I got to play around with one, I think, in 1990. In one night, saw more objects than I ever had in my life up to that point. First generation computerized telescopes require a user to essentially identify two known stars in the sky and then use the electronics of the telescope to move to those positions and then indicate manually that those stars were centered. It was challenging even with the technical uh, inclination that I had. And that's something that we really wanted to avoid because we'd heard all the horror stories that a lot of consumers have with telescopes. They would become frustrated, center the wrong stars, not get a proper alignment. One of the results of the efforts to try to make telescopes easier to use was Skyline technology. I was blown away because it really made aligning telescopes much easier. It basically allowed a user to use any three bright stars they could find. They didn't have to know the name of the star, they just had to be able to center the telescope. Look in the eyepiece, center this bright but unknown star, press a button, and repeat the process two more times. After a while, you know, we also realized that, you know, that was kind of challenging to do for some people who had never used a telescope. While Skyline technology was very successful for Slashon and represented a leap forward in go-to telescope technology, there was still room for what would be called a completely automated process which would require no user intervention whatsoever. You know, what you need is a telescope that can get past that alignment stuff to get to the good part. Celestron has now acquired that technology through many years of development. With StarSense technology, the telescope aligns itself. You don't have to get a kink in your neck trying to line up to a bright star. This thing just does it on its own. The user doesn't need to enter a date, enter a time, enter a location, doesn't need to level a telescope. You know, like NASA, you know, they have satellites in space. They lose their orientation. They look out the sky, take a picture, and they figure out where they are. This is the kind of technology that's in star sense. In approximately three minutes, you're up and running. Once the alignment is completed, you can use the telescope's hand controller to select any object you wish. The telescope can automatically move to that object's location. This incarnation is, of course, called the star sense hand controller. It may look like the old hand control, but it's got a lot more in it. I'm pretty sure at this point there are no consumer telescopes sold on the market today that have built-in mount modeling. It's a kind of technology you pay hundreds of dollars for. It runs on a laptop. You got to have a CCD camera hooked up to your telescope and it's what, you know, advanced imagers use to be able to get really precise pointing. We wanted to keep the cost down so uh, the consumer didn't have to break the bank to be able to enjoy astronomy. For someone who feels like they might get something out of the hobby, but they're completely new to it, it's a good price, and it's going to instill the confidence in them to be able to go out and use the equipment and get a lot out of it. And maybe they'll buy a bigger telescope at some point, and hopefully by then we'll have star sense technology in some of our other telescopes. I'm really excited about where we can go with this.